difference is 8, find the larger number. Now, in this problem, we are going to look for two numbers. We are going to identify or we are going to solve for the two numbers. Before or after solving or after looking or after identifying the two numbers, that would be the time that we are going to give the larger number since in the problem, we are asked to give or to find the larger number. Now, let us have the representation. So, we will let x to be one of the numbers since there are two numbers that we are going to look for. And the other number is 44 minus x. Where did we get 44 minus x? Since the sum of two numbers is 44, and if we are going to subtract the number or the first number, which is x, to 44, we were able or we, we were able to identify the second number so that is why we have 44 minus x to be the other number now in here we have already representation of the two numbers so the first number is x and the second number is 44 minus x let us have now the equation now since in the problem their difference is 8 the difference of two number is 8 so the first number is x the keyword here is difference so we are going to subtract so subtract the second number or the other number which is 44 minus x so that is why we have x minus 44 minus x is equal to 8. Now, by distributive property, we're going to eliminate the parentheses, distribute the negative. So, we have x negative times positive 44, that is negative 44, and negative times negative x, that is positive x. So, we have already here x minus 44 plus x is equal to 8 and then we're going to combine like terms so we have x and the positive x so combining them x plus x that is 2x minus 44 is equal to 8 the next we are going to transpose negative 44 now if we're going to a transpose again the sign will change so from negative 44 that will become positive 44 so we have 2x is equal to 8 plus 44. So 8 plus 44, that is 52. Divide both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 is x. And 52 divided by 2, that is 26. So we have here now x is equal to 26. Now looking back to our representation, since our x is equal to 26, so x is equal to 26, then 44 minus x. So 44 minus 26, that is 18. Now, looking at the two numbers that we have in here, 26 and 18, and in our statement, we are we're going to add 26 and 18, so 26 plus 18, that is equal to 44. So, therefore, our two numbers here, if we're going to get the sum of two numbers, that is 44. And in the statement again, what we're going to look for is or we are going to find the larger number so looking back again which one is the larger number is it x or 44 minus x and solving therefore the larger number is 26